All right, we got EJ Guerrero and Baron Corbin. What is EJ seeing over there? Oh, God, is Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible defeated Baron Corbin at last month's Turbo. And now he's here antagonizing. Not Baron Corbin, but EJ. So EJ, yeah, I beat him. Let's see if you can beat him. EJ telling him to get out of here. And he's like, what? I just want to watch this damn match, man. What? All right, we got EJ Guerrero with a nice kick onto Baron Corbin to start off this matchup. As you, you saw, the last WWE Turbo, WWE Turbo number four. And you saw Baron Corbin debut. And you saw this man right here, an Intercontinental Champion, debut in the WWE. And he not only did he debut, he debuted and won the Intercontinental Championship against Tiger. Tiger was a former Intercontinental Champion. He held that title from 16 to WrestleMania. He ended up losing to CM Punk. And speaking of CM Punk, let me tell you guys what is going to happen tonight. All right, so backstage, when we book our matches, CM Punk and Money Guy are our tag team champions. So, Money Guy decided to go against Tyson Kidd and Cesaro by himself and let CM Punk go against the Beast Brock Lesnar. And there goes EJ throwing Baron Corbin to the turnbuckle. Now he's taking his attention to Mr. Incredible looking at him like, why are you here? Now EJ and Mr. Incredible, what is this animosity that's coming out of nowhere between the two? It's a rookie versus a freaking veteran. I don't think Mr. Incredible had any problems with Eddie Guerrero back in the day. But that was odd, and Baron Corbin ends up getting a cheap shot until, until, oh my god, sorry, onto EJ. Now EJ is going to throw him back inside the ring. He's going to give him a little elbow right into his freaking face. That's what you get, Baron Corbin, for that nice cheap shot. And now EJ is going to pick him up. And uh oh. EJ's got him. One amigo. A two amigo. And a three. And now EJ. He's about to go up top. EJ. Ooh, Chavo. EJ. Bog splash. Get that pinfall, baby. Two. Oh, kick out by Baron Corbin. You can see the sweat on EJ as he's trying to put away Baron Corbin and make his record to 7-0. Yes. Whoa, what a nice haircut, Rana. EJ has been 7-0 since his debut on Turbo 4. And now he's trying to make it to 8-0 against Baron Corbin. Nice kick in Baron Corbin. Lifts him up for a power bomb from the turnbuckle. What is EJ going to try to do now? He's got to go up top again. Could this be another freaking frog splash? No, he's going to... Oh! EJ! Here we go. One, two, three. Oh! Baron Corbin kicks out immediately. Now here comes EJ lifting up Baron Corbin and gets a side slam. Now he's padding on his chest. You know what time it is. Now EJ's going up top. He didn't lie. Cheater's still in his match. Now he's just letting Baron Corbin just lay there. So I'm trying to see what is EJ trying to do. He's letting Baron Corbin get on his feet. And now, oh, he punches him right down. Here we go. Oh, wow. Smart by freaking EJ. Being very optimistic. And there goes a frog splash by EJ. Viva la raza. One, two, three. And EJ Guerrero gets a victory here tonight. Our Intercontinental Champion is now 8-0.
He was the first rookie to debut with that kind of record since. DR3, yes. DR3, the man who still kind of only has two losses to his fucking uh, name. But he is the second rookie to do so since DR3. And that was uh, year three. There goes EJ going up top for the frog splash. And then here he got the pinfall after punching Dar Baron Corbin. Making Baron fall down. And got second frog splash to take him out. My question is, where's his uh, belt ref? Where's his belt ref? He doesn't need his belt because he knows he's a champion. All right, up next is Money Guy versus Tyson Kidd. Welcome everybody back to Monday Night Turbo and I forgot to tell you guys welcome to Monday Night Turbo but we're here in Nashville Tennessee and you hear that song you hear that sound it is the money guy half of the WWA tag team and he is going to defend his third title. Yes, he's going to defend their title against Tyson Kidd and Cesaro by himself. I, I think um, I told you guys we're going to do tornado tags. That's the WWE how we're doing it. But I think we're probably going to do um, a tag match where he tags him out or can be tornado. Actually, I hope it's tornado because I know many guys. And the thing about Money Guy is, uh, he could be world champion right now if he really wanted to. But he wanted to do something with his former best friend, who is now his best friend again, CM Punk. And then not only that, they still he still messed with AJ Lee. I thought they broke up since he was going to do CM Punk. But I guess they didn't. But uh, that's a weird situation that they need to be. But there goes Tyson Kidd and Cesaro with a little handshake, throwing up gang signs and shit, I think. And then there goes Cesaro putting his fist up and stuff. Um, I really don't get these two. Is that, wait, hold on. Is that tag team title belt from this goddamn? Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. But Tyson Kidd and Cesaro is a good tag team. They defeated Enzo Mori and Colin Cassidy in a dark match to become number one contenders and get in this match. But everybody thought we were going to have you know, Enzo and Cass in another match against him. So they're probably going to happen in the future. But Colin Cassidy and Enzo, they got to figure out how they're going to you know, beat these teams. Well, they beat everybody else, but they just can't beat the money team and Tyson like Kidd Cesaro. Money got! Tyson. And yes, I was right. This is going to be a, a tag match. Like, they're not the tag and stuff. I don't like that, but, you know, we got to do it. It's the rules. But the WWA way when it's two on two is tornado tag elimination. It's the only way you can lose your titles other than this handicap match. And Money Guy's doing an incredible job until. Tyson Kidd got the reverse and he's gonna roll Money Guy and Cesaro's gonna kick him right in his goddamn face. Cesaro with a knee to Money Guy's face. And Tyson Kidd knew he was gonna get his ass whipped, so that's why he, you know, tagged Cesaro in. And Cesaro is the powerhouse. He doesn't look that big, but he is the powerhouse of their two tag, of their tag team. And here goes Money Guy. What is he trying to do? In the ref. Yeah. Oh my god. Money guy, he knocks out the ref all the freaking time. I don't know why, but he always does it somehow, some way. But that looked like an accident, but it, even if it, when it's an accident, Money Guy ends up hitting the ref. He's dead on it. WrestleMania, he speared the goddamn ref, and then there was more shit that I kind of forgot. But you know, Money Guy, always doing this shit. And Cesaro trying to get a punch, and there goes our face of the WWE with some nice jabs and a nice rock kick. Now he's gonna kick Cesaro some more. Y'all see Money Guy? I just got it. He's good. Let's see him. Got bright light. And there goes a nice clothesline by the Money Guy. Flicking him off. And there's no more sensors for that. Thank you, Jesus. Money Guy 
Click the button next to an F4. It's a what? F5! Now he's waiting for Cesaro to get up. And a nice super kick by Money Guy, but that one hit him in his stomach. Oh, the boldness of Money Guy by getting on the tag teams. Whoa, Money Guy with a nice senton. Now he's going for the pimp ball. One, two, and there goes a kick out by Cesaro. Oh, wait, tried to go for another clothesline, but then gets punched by Cesaro. Cesaro's going to bring him to the middle of the ring. Gets a nice suplex. But remember, if Cesaro and Kidd win this match, they're tag team champions. And now he's going to tag Tyson Kidd back in. So now there's more work for Money Guy to do. And uh oh. Suplex number one by Money Guy. Bring the suplex back. It's suplex. Sit. Oh well, that's, that's Brock. Sorry. Sorry, Money Guy. Got you on the suplex. In. But he got his first suplex in. And now he's going for another suplex. You know what that means. Money Guy is pissed when he goes for a suplex. Oh! Because Tyson Kidd gets his own suplex. And Money Guy's like, enough is enough. And he gets a nice shoulder bump into Tyson Kidd. And he flicks off the camera. And all the fans not even looking at the camera, but he flicked it off. Yeah, here we go. A nice backbreaker by Money Guy. Is he gonna set for some? Oh, 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 Money Guy! Click the button next to F4. It's F5! I almost got the hiccups again. That was a terrible pick for me in that hit. And there goes a spear by Money Guy. Knocking Cesaro outside the ring. And there goes a nice super kick by Money Guy. Now he's about to go for the pinfall to retain his tag team championship with his best friend CM Punk. And it gets broken up by Cesaro. Now Money Guy is going for a suplex number three. Now he's getting tired a little bit. He's getting really tired. He has to go against two people, but he's looking like he's doing it with ease. Retain the tag team championships for he and CM Punk. Now he's picking up Tyson Kidd. He's going to get a nice clothesline. I don't know what this is setting up to be. Now, Money Guy. He's getting ready. Getting ready. Pow! Like that. He is done. Tyson Kidd is out. Cole and Money Guy gets a spear on Cesaro once again. And now Money Guy is going to turn Tyson over. Here we go. One, two. Oh, and a kick out by Tyson Kidd. Money Guy looked like he had that one in the freaking bag. And Tyson Kidd just wishes he could. Oh, Cesaro got in the middle of the ring. And. Freaking hit money guy, money guy trying to hit him back and it's just failing twice. And then he gets flipped over by freaking Tyson Kidd. And Tyson Kidd with a nice kick into the face of Money Guy. And money Guy rolls outside the ring to get a breather. You cannot believe what Cesar Oh and Tyson Kidd. Oh, that's probably why Money Guy got out. Oh, what a super kick! The third one in the matchup. Oh, and he misses a spear on Tyson Kidd. It was a little bit too uh, obvious that that was going to happen. And then Money Guy just glitched into the ring. And now it's a battle. Who's going to get up first? And Cesaro got back in and then got super kicked. But now, suplex number four by Money Guy. Now Money Guy is going for the pinfall. No, he's not. He's going for an eye rake, raking the eyes of Cesaro. Oh God, it feels good to have Money Guy on WWE Turbo. He and CM Punk missed two of them, but now he, here you go, one, two. Nigga kick out by Cesaro. Cesaro's gonna Irish whip Money Guy and then take him to us a moment drop. That's pretty weird that he did that. So let's call that the sweep. Isn't he from sweep? 
Oh lord, I forgot where he's from. My bass is already beat my ass. And he uppercuts Money Guy. Money Guy tosses him over the rope. And here goes Money Guy I gonna, uh oh. I thought, Sunset flip into a pinfall. Cesaro to Tyson Kidd. Two, ah, oh, Money Guy gets out of it. You could have had new tag team champions with that somersault. But Money Guy's gonna turn him to the turn, buckle, kick him in the stomach. Stomp him. Uh-oh. And back. Heel kicks him to Cesaro. Don't mess with the face of the WWE. Now he's just waiting, patiently waiting for Cesaro to get up. Because you know what's coming. Oh, he misses. Oh, wait. Did Cesaro misses. Oh, then a super kick with Cesaro. Just had to go for a turnaround punch. And then Money Guy misses that spear that he's done like many times before in his matchup. Again. He misses it again. Tyson is too smart for that. And misses a punch. Tyson. Good shit, Tyson. Now, Cesaro. Flipping Money Guy. Similar to what Tyson Kidd did earlier in the match. And now... Cesaro's getting outside. He's going to let Tyson Kidd come inside. And uh oh. Suplex number five by Money Guy. And he's flicking off Tyson. And the fans that are behind him. Uh oh. Money Guy. I think what's next to the F6 is also the F5. Money guy just looking at Tyson Kidd's body. Here we go! Stunner! You done fucked up! Money guy's going up top. Oh, and he gets punched and knocked down. When is this match going to end? Oh, Cesaro gets speared. And then Tyson Kidd gets a fireman's carry drop. And then he gets thrown into his own turnbuckle. And then Tyson Kidd kicks him. Then Tyson Kidd flips him like it's a German suplex. Now Tyson Kidd's going outside the damn ropes. What is going to happen? This is action packed. And it gets tossed. Ah, oh, Money Guy misses another spear. Frustrated. I really want Money Guy to win this matchup against Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. I know he can do it. It's been a little bit hard. And this is the reason why CM Punk is very much needed in these matches because, you know, going against fresh people over and over, that's kind of tiresome and tedious. Even though I know Money Guy can do Oh, oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, he gets punched in the back of his head by Tyson. Then Tyson goes for a German suplex. Now, once again, Tyson is going to tag into Zaro. They can put Money Guy away and CM Punk can lose a title once again without actually losing it. Because he didn't lose the Intercontinental Championship. He was fired and he got it vacated. And now, Money Guy with this much distance, he's about to go for a powerful spear. I think he wants it to hurt even more for Cesaro. And it does. And Cesaro is planted on the ground. And Money Guy looks at the fans and like, yeah, this is what I did, boys. And he spears Tyson. He can do it now. He can win this matchup now. Money Guy. One, two, three. He did it, baby. Here we go. Money finally, this match is over. Thank God. But finally, Money Guy defeated Tyson Kidd and Cesaro with a nice super kick right here. And then a spear onto Tyson Kidd. And then this powerful close range spear onto Cesaro. Cesaro came in the ring and hit Money Guy. Remember that. So Money Guy's not being an asshole, even though he's kind of speared Cesaro. 
And speaking of spear, he spears Tyson Kidd right there. And then goes for the pinfall and wins. He and CM Punk are still tag team champions. And look at Money Guy ordering the ref to get outside the ring. I can't see the hill. He's the face of the WWE, but he don't give a fuck. You don't know if he's face or heel. You don't know. He does not give a fuck. All right. So our main event match, and sorry about that, but it goes with this match because the reason why Cena Punk is not with Money Guy in this title match is because he is facing Brock Lesnar. If CM Punk can defeat Brock Lesnar, he can go against our WWE Undisputed Heavyweight Champion Zebra at this month. Guess what the pay-per-view is? Battleground. We have moved Battleground back to its original month. Well, sorry, I forgot. I'm taking real months in, in the month seven of year six, and the reason why is because we're bringing back a pay per view, a WWE original pay per view. <laughs> All I gotta say is just be ready because everything. I was about to say hard, but that no homo. But y'all know what I mean. Here we go. Next matchup. Now. We got CM Punk and Brock Lesnar here getting ready for this matchup. And then obviously, here comes our undisputed heavyweight champion, Zebra. But now I'm about to break kayfabe with you guys. I'm tired of this shit because this was just in our episode tonight. And Becky Lynch did this to AJ Lee. So this same cutscene is getting a little bit fucking annoying. But who's going to win this matchup? And there goes Brock Lesnar grabbing CM Punk and taking him to the Suplex City. Suplex number one by Brock Lesnar. And now he's picking up CM Punk and CM Punk just tosses him over his back with ease. Like Brock Lesnar was just like 200 pounds. No, he's like 200 pounds and 65. <laughs> and he gets some chops and a nice insecurity by CM Punk. And now he's stomping away at our freaking beast incarnate. Who gave, no, not debuted. What the hell is wrong with me? But who returned last month. Oh, God. See, 2K got me a little pissed off, so I'm forgetting my stuff. But he uh, returned last night at Money in the Bank, and there was a nice slide slam by Brock Lesnar. But yeah, there's going to have to be some changes with this because it's really getting annoying that uh, I keep seeing that same thing. But um, CM Punk and Brock Lesnar are still fighting for that number one contenders match against the man who is sitting outside the ring right now and there goes a nice kick by CM Punk and he's going to throw Brock Lesnar into the turnbuckle gets a nice flying form and now he's kicking away at Brock Lesnar and he's kicking him in his groin he knows how to beat Brock Brock is a freaking beast but CM Punk is a fucking slayer and he uh oh and there goes CM Punk tossing Brock Lesnar into the turnbuckle and obviously there goes Zebra to stare some more stuff up. Zebra is the American hero. He's the one that helps everybody achieve their goals and dreams, but he doesn't do it in a gay way like Bo does. And there goes Brock Lesnar with that punch. Obviously, we've seen something like that before. With the Beast Incarnate knocking out CM Punk and Zebra clapping about it. And then CM Punk gets back inside the ring. And the fans are chanting, This is awesome. Oh no, there's Chan Suplex City. And, there go, and CM Punk goes high, gets low, and then gets back into Suplex City. Now he's waiting for CM Punk to get up. And now he's about to take CM Punk into Super. Oh no, no, no. F5 City. This is Kansas where the tornadoes be at. And here we go. One, two, and there's our kick out by CM Punk immediately. Lego Brock Lesnar waiting for CM Punk to get up but not only does CM Punk know how to beat Brock but Brock knows how to beat CM Punk because he was um no 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 he was in a match with CM Punk at Royal Rumble year five and Brock Lesnar almost won that matchup barely losing but here goes CM Punk with a backdrop onto the beast incarnate 
Brock Lesnar. And now he's picking Brock Lesnar up. Here goes CM Punk. It's about 9 o'clock at night, so kids, take your ass to sleep and go to sleep, motherfuckers. And there goes CM Punk saying it's time for him to go to sleep again. Because when you got a big-ass motherfucker named Brock Lesnar, that's not enough. And there goes a kick. Irish whip, and he misses. No! CM Punk, no! He wasn't ready. No, he wasn't ready. And there goes the Brock Lock. There goes the Brock Lock. There goes the Brock Lock. And now... CM Punk has to submit to the Brock Lock. You know what? Fuck it. That's not the number one contenders match. CM Punk, fuck it. Fuck it. There goes Brock Lesnar. Raising up his hand. I'm just kidding. But think about this, kids and children. Think about this right now. When we put the pudding in the pudding pot. Brock Lesnar has came back to the WWE and he got a money in the bank match. But here's one thing, kids. Three. No, I'm sorry. Two years ago, Brock Lesnar lost his WWE World Heavyweight Championship to Zebra. And that was in the same month that we're changing it now from Capital Punishment to Battleground. And now, um, huh? Brock Lesnar is going against Zebra, and Zebra is the world champion. So, will Brock Lesnar, the number one contender, be able to defeat Zebra at Battleground? All I gotta say is this: Karma is a fucking bitch. As Supernova, as he lost his fucking title. After Ozzy got back into the match, and guess what? Supernova was not even. Thank you for watching Monday Night Turbo, episode 5. Now, click that damn subscribe button. Support me, please, because I love doing this for you guys. And people will actually comment, who actually do everything, even though it's barely comments right now. But the people who do it, trust me, in the long run, you're gonna. Mm, things are gonna happen to people if I ever get bigger. Things I'm gonna happen to people who are here from subscriber one to subscriber how many I got. I don't even care if I stay at 1,000. Okay, I kind of do care if I stay at 1,000 because that's stagnant. But you know what I mean. Like, I really appreciate everybody who actually is subscribing and watching these videos because it means a lot to me. These are characters that I made as a kid, mixed with my wrestling toys, and then I did backyard wrestling. And you know that's gonna get more until the later part of the year. And I got something for you guys. This is Vargas. Thank you for watching WWE Turbo. Brock Lesnar, the Beast Incarnate, is going to battle. Bro. Brock Lesnar waiting for her day to get inside the ring just to get tossed over the fucking ring like a damn. I don't know, but that's Suplex City right there. That's one thing I do know. And Brock Lesnar's going up top. And he got punched down. Edge got punched down.